Season 5 might have came to an excruciating halt with NASCAR Heat 5 and PlayStation, but Season 6, we replaced real drivers with AI, and we replaced the PlayStations with the computer, and we replaced NASCAR Heat 5 with a 20-year-old game that lives in all of our hearts. Welcome everyone to the eNASCAR PlayStation Cup Series Season number 6. This is the 6th Annual Daytona 500 here. It's a very warm 80 degree day here in Daytona. Fairly a few clouds in the sky and it's sunny and it's beautiful here in Daytona Beach. Hello guys, I'm your commentator like always, Dylan Welker. And this is in fact the Daytona International Speedway. Let's go down trackside. Let's look out for some drivers to watch for in today's race. Those drivers you have to watch out for is your Daytona 500 champion from last year, Derek Hangover. Hangover goes into this race with a very high confidence, and he had a record high about five wins in season number five, and a runner-up in the championship. What can Hangover do? So alongside him is a driver from Michigan, Brett Baker. Brett Baker has won a few races, a couple of races in his career, including the World 600 back in season number three. What can Brett do to get his first Daytona 500 win and his first Super Speedway win in the year? He's running five races this year. What can Brett do? Then you look out for the sh one of the hottest guys last year on the Super Speedway is Dylan Walker, who had his best year ever on the drafting tracks. He's been getting better and better. Today, he starts third. What can the driver from Iowa do? Starting on the front row for the day's race and starting on the pole is, in fact, Noah Wilson, your Season 1 champion. What can Wilson do this year? And meanwhile, let's listen over guys this time. Let's go trackside for the command. To, to get the command for this day, it's on a 500. It is NASCAR Hall of Famer from the class of 2021. 15-time most popular driver, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Drivers, start your engines! And ah, uh, yes, the engines have been fired here from the Daytona International Speedway. Simon Boggs has not been able to make it a race due to his hauler crashing on the way here to Daytona. He is not going to be able to make it the race today. So that sucks for him right there. They got Noah Wilson on the front row driving this number nine car. Dylan Walker, they're starting in third place in the number three car. Let's go down to Dale Racing Center. He has a late race update on the number three car of Dylan Walker. Yeah, guys, Dylan Walker sang over the radio before this race. This is the best car we've had all of in our career here at Daytona. He was so close to possibly getting a top three or maybe even win here last year. Walker trying to get some redemption here from last year. All right, and here's Dylan Walker's radio prepping up his crew. Here's what the 18-year-old has to say. Alright guys, this, this one's smart the whole race, um, they were like, trying to be aggressive as much as we can, so it's 33 laps, good luck guys, on pit road today, just uh, hopefully we can bring back the one, Godspeed. Godspeed and Kurt Busch starts wrong side of him, some past MLRA or PlayStation Cup drivers and some real life drivers and some real life legends, Cody Ware. And Simon Boggs are your DNQs for today's race. And here we come, the face car driver. Mr. Beast is your face car driver for this year's Daytona 500. He pulls off. Here comes Noah Wilson, Kerry Earnhardt. And the season six Daytona 500 is underway.
Going down the back straightaway for the first time today's race. Dylan Walker already looking, peeking to the inside. He has a 20 car. Chase Hansen trying to help him. The driver out of Mike in Utah is going to help Dylan Walker there. And here comes Dylan Walker up to the lead here. Dylan Walker to the lead in Daytona. And we got a crash lap one. Big crash lap one. Racing back to the line. He's going to lead us back. He's going to lead the first lap of the season. Chase Hansen leads the first lap of the season. Well, that's common here in this series. Matt DiBenedetto on his return to the Wood Brothers. Got the 16 Mason Buchanan involved. 15 Michael Waltrip involved there. Michael Waltrip involved in the 15. So is oh, that Mason Buchanan's in the 77. It's Isaiah Hines in the 16. Adam Petty. Involves Scott Pruitt in the 39. 30 of Steadman Marlin up there. Two of Brett Baker, who I believe might have caused this. But Chase Hansen's your current race leader. Let's take a look at the replay of what happened. Well, here it is. This is some contact here. Got the 99 of Caden Bennett right there. Looks like Bennett makes some contact with Waltrip. Sends that 15 around. Gets in the Hines right there. Look at Michael Walter, the driver out of or Owensboro, Kentucky. Then you got Brett going involved there. Then Steadman Marlin goes down there. Look at Fred Jones Jr. Trying to avoid this wreck. The 47, Regan Smith involved. He goes spinning to the inside. He hits this wall hard. I think we're focusing on him, on him now. Look at the 99 going to the inside there to avoid this wreck. Mostly does. You got Vasquez Jr. there going around. Ricky Vasquez Jr. Going around the seven right there. A lot of hard hits. I don't know. A lot of gar cars are going to be out of this one right here. And Dylan Walker. Oh, my God. Ricky got hit hard by Regan Smith. Well, I thought this car went up and over. It did not. It just got hit very hard right there. My God. Let's take a look at this in real time. It is in re and here it is in real time. See there that. The 99 just war or the two just the two got in the 99, and that's just caused a big wreck. Just an over aggressive push by Brett there. Already on the first lap of the Daytona 500. Hard, hard quit for Vasquez Jr. Matt to Benedetto right there. Hard hit. I think Waltrip is going to be out of the Daytona 500. Man. Well, Brett Baker gets too hard to push the 99, spins Waltrip up in the inside wall, collecting multiple cars here in Daytona, about 10 of them. We'll be back here for the restart. And we welcome back everyone live to Daytona. The driver's getting the one to go signal. Dylan Walker, the 18 year old, is now out front due to the 20 car. There is Chase Hansen. Chase Hansen, the season three Daytona 500 champion, uh, making a questionable call to pit and he'll start at tail end Charlie for this restart so that gives Dylan Walker the lead here and he knows that he wants to win the state ton of 500 um, now last year last season he was put into the wall on coming to the white flag and and uh, we know him and how he is with um, that he does not like to be quiet about you know drivers running into him. He'll go up and he'll say something about it. And uh, Matthew Race had a bit of a confrontation. They tugged on each other a little bit, but no fight, no punches were thrown. So Dylan Walker leading this Daytona 500 here.
um, right now. First place car driver, Brett Bodine. Flagman is Barney the Flagman. His last name is the Flagman. Which, in case you guys were wondering. All right, here we go. Single file restarts. And the pace cloud driver ducks off. Barney the flag man is going to wave that flag again here. And it's the first restart of the season. And the first ever single file restart ever in this league history. Let's see how it goes. Green flag back in there. See there, Walker got that big jump right there. He's known for... You no, know, getting these big jumps on these restarts, and he knows for jumping them in the past, but he did not jump that. He's the leader. He's a control car, so. But you can see there, Kerry Earnhardt's going to jump to the outside. He's going to be done working with Hang over there. Noah Wilson comes up here. Oh, no, Wilson gets a shot right there to the five. And here they go down the back straightaway. Here comes Hang over to the lead in Daytona. Trying to pick to the inside of Walker. Dylan Walker goes to the outside. And here comes the five car. To the lead in Daytona. Of course, you're defending Daytona 500 champion. Going to head out front here in Daytona. He's going to go out to block that outside lane. But here comes Wilson to the inside. And he's going to lead the slap. It's a five. Five car led that lap. Wilson to the lead on the inside. Got Earnhardt right there. Trying to push the number 22 to the inside. That's a small team. That is Wayne Edwards. Wayne Edwards going to go to the inside. Look at that front of that car. There's no decals on the front of that car. That is a new team that was formed just last week. And he's a rookie. So it's Jeffrey Earnhardt. Walker's going to help hang over on that outside lane. So far, everyone's just going to go single file, but I don't know if it's going to work. No, Wilson down the block again. And that nine car into the Dodge. Edwards and Earnhardt going to go side by side for second place. See how fast we're going down this back straightaway. 193 down this back straightaway here. Now like, oh, Walker's making it three wide. Walker, then not my, that probably won't be good. He goes to the front, in front of Kurt Busch and Kevin LePage. And fly by right there. Walker going to the inside. And up the 99. Fill it, teammate. Satellite in the M car right there. And Walker's going to help his satellite teammate. He's going to pick to the inside. Oh, he's going to help. Oh, he's going to turn the 99. Oh, it gets him loose. Wow. Oh, the 99 did not like that. And he comes at the track and he wrecks the, he kills the field. Fred Jones Jr. is going to hit the three hard. Well, that was a fucking cheap shot right there, 99, don't you think? And we apologize for that language. No Wilson's going to come around and take the caution. Mike Skinner's going to be in second now. <laughs> Walker, uh, the 99 did not like that. Will that be a suspension for the 99 for a run race? 99's in this race. They're not parking him. They're not going to park him for that. Wow, that was insane. Let's take a look at the replay. Here's a good look at it right here. You can see there, he just goes in that turn right there. He turns down, or he turns down, and he gives a good big push. But you can see there, Kurt Busch gives Walker a push right there. And they go down, you know, he turns a 99 right there. And then he just goes, I forgot who was in the 99. 
Yeah, Kate and Bennett. Then Bennett comes up. Hopefully we go back in time. Get back up. Dang it. Uh, and then Caden comes up here. Right there. Makes a four wide. Comes up and Rex Walker. Takes him out. Wayne Edwards in the wall too. Well, Dylan Walker had to wait till season seven to win his second Daytona 500. Man, that was insane. Right there, Kurt Busch spinning to the inside. And look at Jones here. Jones Jr., Fred Jones hits the three. And that puts a three up and on. All four tires off the ground. How you all right? Man, we're done. We're done for the day. I don't know why the 99 had a clear temper tantrum there. That was just BS. The threes radio. Oh, what the world? Look at Steadman Marlin right there. Marlin? I think might have blown a tire or did he make contact with the five? Well, we have to see what happened here. Okay, so here's what happened to Stead May Marlin. They all have track right there. And then Marlin comes up here. He gets a little bit, tries to break it, but that car just gets too loose. Hits the wall, spins down to the infield. Just sucks right there. Hold on. Here it is again. I mean, yeah, you can just see there. Kurt just gives too big of a push to the three, and the three nearly spins out the 99. And then the 99, I mean, he shouldn't have done this right here. He comes up. He's not happy with the three at this point. And, my, and I think his goal was trying to, you know, wreck a three. I don't know. That might be a suspension. I, I don't know. <laughs> might be, but spins Walker out. Uh, Steadman Marlin did make some contact. Kurt Busch hangover was involved there. Hang or uh, no, Wilson current race leader actually won the shootout last year. You can see you there, Fred Jones Jr. hitting the three car of Dylan Walker. Well, these two hooligans wreck each other and cause another big wreck here. You guys are watching the season six Daytona 500 here on LRN. Let's take a break here when we come back. More racing from Daytona. Welcome back to Run Live to the Season 6 Daytona 500. Cars just got the one to go signal. No Wilson, your race leader. Then it's uh, the four car of Jimmy Spencer. Or Jimmy Spencer. Of uh, uh, Kevin LePage. And this is 77 car. If I forgot. <laughs> uh, let me see here. That is Mason Buchanan. Mason Buchanan in the 77. Keeping him in the 99. Um, except for speaking of the 99, he has been... Um, well, he's in the back. I would say he's probably been parked, but nope. Uh, but one guy is out of the race. Um, is a three car Dylan Walker, which totally, um, uh, me and him are not the same person. Here's, uh, the, here's, uh, Dale Racing Son with the, with an interview with the three. Dylan Walker. Uh, Dale, we're ready for you, bud. All right, down here, Dylan Walker. Dylan Walker had a great day, 20 500 going up for them. You're running tight in all day. Gave a big push there. Probably could have gone for the leader. Could have gone for third. Then a wreck happened. What happened there? Um, I don't know. The ninety, the ninety nine is flat out caused a temper tantrum and caused a huge wreck at Daytona. Um, I understand we did the we did dumb moves like that last year, but trust me. Um, I don't know. I I gave him a big push. Kurt was going to be a big push behind me. And um, all of a sudden, you know, I got into the back of him. He comes off the track, flat out that stumps me. And I, I'm i just pissed right now because we easily fly one of the fastest cars here in Daytona. Wall fight third. If I was going to be a great shot at winning this 500, but nope, we got taken out by some damn cheap shot rookie who doesn't know how to drive this race. They should park his ass. And um, if he does, and they don't park his ass, trust me, I'll park his ass in Pensacola because he should not be racing next week. That 99's a just goddamn cheat shot. And 
I don't know. I think um, I'm tired of getting screwed out. Second day, Tunnel 500 got screwed out of. Just, just sucks. And, um, you know, um, and in the 99, just a piece of shit. So, shouldn't be racing next week. Shouldn't be racing next week. And um, I'm off. So, thank you, Dale. I'm off to Pensacola. Going to vent out the rest of the night. Thank you. All right, don't walk her out. The race to home of 500. Course back underway and back in turn three. Like I say, Walker does not sound happy right there about that. Lap 15 of this race, halfway now. My halfway is actually lap 17. You got Chase Hansen running in third place. Chase Hansen. Let's talk about him. Chase Hansen, season three Daytona 500 champion, or season four Daytona 500 champion. Really good at these super speedway tracks. And I'm not shocked here to find him helping this four car here. But look, he goes to the outside, trying to make a move. Does that work? It does not exactly. Adam Petty up here. Mason Buchanan up here. They're going to go side by side for a second. That's going to allow Noah here to, you know, maybe get a bigger of a run here. And Hanson's going to get second that lap. You on to the outside, of course, you know, looking forward to Knoxville. She won the last race of the season, the third or last race of the season, race 10 of the year. That's where he's probably going to win that because he's really good at dirt. And he's also really good here at Daytona because he's catching the nine car here. Hanson, the 32-year-old, will be 33 next month. Takes the dive to the inside. He's side by side with the 17-year-old. And here comes the pride of might in Utah, the Dirt Ace. Chase Hanson takes the lead barely in Daytona. They're going to be side by side here off this lap and leading this lap. Give it to the 20 of Hanson. But will Hanson come up the block and allow Kevin LePage to come to the inside? Here comes Kevin LePage to the inside. Kevin LePage to the lead. These guys are racing like it's the final laps of the day, Tunnel 500. No, we've got about, I don't know, like 15 left, 16 left here in Daytona. Stanton Barrett up here now. Look at the 77 trying to peek to the inside. Hanson, though, going to keep the lead. Noah Wilson trying to peek to the inside right here. No, Wilson gets the inside. They're going to be side by side. Hanson down the block, late block right there. But it was good enough for him, though. Let's say it's a caution out. No, these cars are just slow. That's how big these super speedway plates are on these Gen 4 cars. They're not that fast, which kind of allows for close quarters racing. But we're not really seeing a lot of that. Here comes Wilson to the inside. Noah Wilson driving the number nine car. Takes the lead in Daytona. He takes it back. Now looks like Kevin LePage will have second that lap. No, Wilson won year, one win last year, and I just realized it came here at Daytona. So he's trying to go for his third Daytona win overall in a second in a row. Buchanan trying to go to the inside, trying to run for third there. So everything calmed down here. There's not a lot of cars in this field, very short field. Really, it's just a seven-car pack up here. It's not really a pack, but it's just seven cars under one blanket that really have a good shot at winning 500. And, of course, one of those cars on the 99, one car has to be shaking his head. And to their affiliate teammates, too. So that might be some questionable things with 
Now Vasquez Jr. is he got the say. For some reason, this race is 33 laps. It's supposed to be like 20, but this would be the final lap, but it's not. So we got 14 to go. Can we have the 13 to go? Well, with that, we're going to go take a side-by-side -side commercial break. You guys are watching the Daytona 500 for the E-NASCAR Places Cup Series live on League Racing Network. Let's take a quick commercial break. Noah Wilson, your race leader over Chase Hansen, who goes to the inside. Welcome back to coverage of the Daytona 500. Chase Hansen taking lead to the inside, but right now let's take a look at your Daytona 500 champion. Season number one was Dylan Walker, and we're actually not going to look at that because we do have this pass for the lead. Nothing even showed up. And we got a pass for the lead here. Chase Hansen going to the inside, and it's a three-car lane right here. It's three cars under one blanket. It's Wilson Hansen LePage. And three different manufacturers. We got a Pontiac up here, a Chevy. We got a Dodge right here leading this race. Stan Barrett right there. Oh, 99. I just saw in the back there. So they have a really good aggressive block. That 99. We're running crazy today, man. Well, now let's take a look at your race recap for today's race. Lap number one. Brett Baker gets the number. 15 car, Michael Waltrip, a big shove, and they both wrecked going into the wall. Taking out multiple cars in this race. Taking out four cars. Four cars actually be out due to that wreck. And then later on, a few laps later, around lap 10 or whatever it was, the three gives a big shot to the 99. Caden Bennett in. The 99 comes off the track, comes up and wrecks the three car, multiple cars. Walker was not happy with him after that. And now we take a look at this current race right here, lap 24, and they're coming up the 9 to go. Hanson going to the inside, going to go side by side with the number 9 car. And who's going to lead this lap? They're still going to be side by side about dead even at the line. It was close, really close. The 20 of Hanson's going to lead that lap. And here comes Kevin LePage to the inside. Three car, three wide for the lead. No, Wilson's got the back out there. First time today. He's been really back there by the first lap or so. And of course, next race will be at Pensacola, Florida at the Five Flag Speedway for the running of the C4 Energy Drink 300 at the Five Flag Speedway for race number 2 of 12 of season 6. If you guys are wondering, we'll have another super speedway. That will be race number 4 at Talladega for the Alabama 500. But Noah Wilson's going to get that big run to the inside. He's going to take that lead away again. But look at Hanson. He's going to go to the inside. It's a little, it's like a dance up here. It's like a do -si do dance up here. These guys are dancing. They're jockeying for position. 
By the way, this is such a spread out pack. Look at this right here. It's a 25 second gap from 1st to 10th. I think that's going to increase here a little bit. Which, by the way, why our ticker isn't fully updated until so these guys are in the back straight away. You can see their updates again. It's really just going to be, I think it's going to be down to the 9, the 20, and the 4 here. It's going to be down to Hanson, Wilson, and LePage to see who wins this state's Sona 500. And fun fact, in six seasons, no one has repeated a day Tona 500. Noah Wilson looking for his first. Season 1, Dylan Walker won it. Season 2 was, in fact, Kyle Jones. Season 3 was Isaac Hahn. Season 4, Chase Hansen. Last season, Hangover. This season, could it be the number 9 car? The 9 has never won the Daytona 500 Dodge, has never won a race in the E NASCAR PlayStation Cup Series. But here comes Handsome to the inside. He's trying to make history as the first two time winner of the Daytona 500. Will he be able to do that? Of course, the 9 will get the bonus for leading the most last of the day's race. And they're side by side. Will this allow the 4 car to reel him in? He does. LePage gets a big run inside. And he's running the manufacturer that hasn't been around for 13 years, Pontiac. Last Pontiac car was made in 2010. Last time we raced a NASCAR was in 2003. Which, of course, that's what your model cars were using. All these cars are 2003s. So, but we got lap traffic, and Hanson's going to take the lead, and he's going to lead that lap over the 9. Those lap cars would be the 30 car, Jeff Green, the 2 car, Brett Baker, 97 of Kurt Busch, the 16 car of Isaiah Hines, and the 21 of Matt Benedetto. And, of course, I think those guys are going to have a bigger shot, better shot next week. I don't really think the 3 car is going to be fast here as well. The 5, then the 9 is going to be very fast here, it looks like. And here comes Wilson to the inside. Going 192, about 190 the average speed in this race. 155 will probably be the average speed in this state. Total 500. Four to go up right here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages watching this on League Racing Network. Noah Wilson goes to the inside. It's going to be ever. We got three wide up here. Not seen here in our 2003 races. The AI wrecked themselves up here. And that does happen. The race will be over. No overtimes this year. It's all just going to be single file restarts. Uh oh, Hanson. Hanson, no! Can get shot out here. Oh, maybe. I don't know. But looks like. Oh, Brett's going to go down the block them. Brett Baker down the block. We know he calls the wreck lap one. You don't want to cause another one, your buddy. Especially when you're lap down. Look at the 21 and Matt the Benedetto down the block. The Benedetto goes down the block. What is the Benedetto doing? He's holding up the nine and the four. Is this? Oh, they're side by side. The nine only makes contact with 20. Here comes Hanson, the third ace. Oh, Hanson! Hanson gets turned for the lead. Oh, my goodness. Caution now, this is for the win. And this is a driver from New Jersey is going to take the lead. Here they come the line. No Wilson comes to the caution flag. <laughs> oh boy. Hanson is not going to be happy with Matt Dibb after that. That was, wow, there he is. Saying a lot of expletives over the radio. Saying that was bleeping stupid right there. Man, he's not happy. I don't blame him. Wow. Take a look at the replay. Oh, the 9 made contact at 21. Wow. Not to spin out, spun out to 20. Hanson right there. 
And that just, wow. Killed, killed their shot. All right, we're coming to the white flag here at Daytona. Here we go, boys and girls. White flag is out. So the white flag is out. Of course, this race is going to end under caution. White flag is out in the Daytona 500. For Noah Wilson, if he stays out of, stays out on the track, if he doesn't get out pit row, then he wins the Daytona 500. Just why we're not calling it yet, because we saw that with Mark Martin in 1994 at Bristol. First day to 500. Second day to 500 in Roto and under caution. Last year, actually, the leader crossed the line, so that does not count as a caution last year. But it was. Um, the last true caution day to 500 was season four, when Chase Hansen ironically won in. In the six seasons, we're going to have six Daytona 500 winners. Looks like No Wilson will add on to that list there. So this could mean we could have a six different champion. Hangover looks strong this year. 16 looks strong. 97 looks strong. I mean, all those guys are locked down, though. So it looks like they're front here. Checked me, though, but Barney the Flagman has the checkered flag in the end with the caution. Wow, this is going to be big for this No Wilson kid right here. Fifth career win. One win last year. Return at the retirement from last year. You know, came out doing so well. Could have won a few races. Won the shootout. I think he's a new king of Daytona. This will be his third Daytona win overall here. If he can, you know, stay out here. Don't want to jinx him just yet, but he's going to stay out here definitely. At the Benedetto's gonna get on pit road, but he's the last car, doesn't matter. And at 70 miles an hour, the driver, season one winner, season one champion of the series, Noah Wilson finally gets it done. Noah Wilson wins the season six Daytona 500, making it six different winners in Daytona 500 history. Wilson gets his fifth career win and the first for Dodge in this league history. Wilson gets his first win of season six with the win here at Daytona. And here comes Noel Wilson to celebrate his first Daytona 500 win, his sixth career win, or fifth career win overall in his career. As I mentioned, third in Daytona. Come on, burn it down, buddy. Hell yeah, hits the wall. And this is presented by Sunoco. Sunoco feeling victories all season long in season six and beyond. And... This is Dodge's first Daytona 500 win, and their first win in the E NASCAR PlayStation Cup Series. Burn it down to the iconic Daytona Victory Lane, the Daytona Victory logo burn out there. And of course, Snow Wilson is the first winner of Season 6. Great job. He's, he's back. He's back. <laughs> This guy, I think, has a good shot winning the championship this year. Look at that. Drives it through the grass. Going to drive it on pit road. Of course, the, some people are like, did he just miss the entrance? Nope. I don't think he did. Nope, he's just turning around here. Going to get on the grass. Let's hope he finds his way. Here's one of our cameras chasing him. Oh, he's going to hit that fence. He went through the fence. Oh, my God. Look at that fence. is well, non-collisional. Man, heck yeah. Here's on board, and he's going to pull in the Daytona 500 victory lane. Not the first time he's been in the Daytona victory lane, but it's the first time he's done it. In our biggest race yet. Well, I conclude our coverage from today's race. Noah Wilson wins the Daytona 500. We'll see you guys in 
Pensacola, Florida, for the C4 Energy 400, 300 from the, uh, from Pensacola. Noah Wilson wins the season six Daytona 500 for Dodge.